Hampton Court Palace is often considered to be one of the most haunted buildings in the country. For hundreds of years, people have told stories of unexplained sounds, strange smells, and ghostly sightings throughout the palace. It was originally built for Thomas Woolsey, a favorite of King Henry VIII. Hampton Court Palace was passed to the king who extended it. There was massive rebuilding and expansion, however this was halted in 1694, thus giving the palace a few different architectural styles. One style is domestic Tudor and the other is Baroque. The use of pink bricks provides the palace with a unifying look. Today, the palace is open to the public and is one of the country's most popular attractions. It is one of the two surviving palaces, along with St. James's Palace, out of the several owned by Henry VIII. It receives no funding from the government or the crown. It is cared for by the historic royal palaces and independent charity. Here are my favorite Hampton Court Palace ghost stories. Restless Royals The best-selling postcards at Hampton Court in the early 1900s were of spectres in historic spaces with these fake up double exposed photographs offered as spine tingling proof. This typical early 20th century postcard claims to reveal poor Queen Catherine captured on film in the horn room at the palace. Stories persist today that at least two of Henry VIII's wives on Hampton Court Palace. His beloved third wife changed him more died after giving birth in 1537. And most famously his fifth wife, Catherine Howard, executed for adultery in 1542. <laughs> The sad white weight carrying lighted taper is said to be Henry VIII's third wife, Jane Seymour. He died from post-birth complications at Hampton Court, only a few days after delivering Henry's longed-for son, Prince Edward. While delighted with his male heir, the king was devastated at the sudden loss of his perfect queen. A pale figure is reported to appear on the silver stick stairs, which once led up to a room in which Jane gave birth and died on the anniversary of Edward's birth in October 1537. Grey Lady There have been numerous sightings of the Grey Lady, aka Sibyl Penn, at the palace. Sibyl was servant to four Tudor monarchs and wet nurse to Edward VI.
C nursed Elizabeth I devoted to small to smallpox in 1562. The queen recovered, but poor Sibul caught the pox and died soon afterwards. Knock knock, who's there? In 1871, two male skeletons in shallow graves were unearthed under a cloister in Fountain Court during a routine excavation. Their discovery brought him to leave to one Polar resident, an elderly woman living in a nearby graves and favor apartment. complained of constant banging and knocking on her walls, but no one had believed her. All disturbances on the remains were properly confirmed. It has been suggested that the anonymous men were victims of brownhead villainy during the civil wars between 1642 and 1651. They may have been hastily buried in unmarked graves, which were concealed during Wen's building of the Baroque Palace in 1689. The Spinning Wheel Sibul's tomb was disturbed when the church was renovated in 1829, and shortly after this, stories began to spread of a grey lady seen to walk the corridors of the state apartments and block court at the palace. Sibul is also linked to a mysterious spinning wheel noises that were said to come from behind the wall in the grace and favor apartment. Legend has it that when the war was removed, an old, much-used spinning wheel was discovered. ghostly figure captured on CCTV, which people have since called Skeletor, has been reported worldwide. The image was caught in winter of 2003 while security staff reviewed CCTV footage. Security staff saw that on the first day doors swung wide open with so much force, but nothing could be seen which could have caused such an occurrence. On the second day, doors were wide open again and this time a ghostly figure can be seen which many believe to be the ghost of King Henry VIII. But many people have since named the spirit Skeletor. On the third day, the doors were again but nothing was seen again. It was not just the security staff who reported seeing something strange. A visitor wrote on the palace's visitor book that she thought she had also seen the apparition of a large man near the same doors. The Screaming Queen Henry VIII's fifth wife, Catherine Howard, was as wild as James Seymour was modern. Catherine's ghost is far more vocal and the sightings more regularly reported. Catherine was beheaded at the tower in 1542, aged 19, for adultery and treason. It is claimed that after she was arrested at Tampton Court, the terrified teenager killed three of her dogs. She ran along what is now called the Haunted Gallery, 
scream out to the king for mercy. She never reached Henry who was at prayer in the chapel. God struck her away and she never saw Henry again. It is said that her animist ghost now repeats this heartbreaking journey screaming through eternity.